Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and uh, we have, um, of course, a lot of uh, looks that uh, come from different Twitter users that play with the different settings with uh, the Vive tool. And, of course, um, one of the things they particularly look at is uh, what you can actually turn on from the dev channel Insider Builds, because there's often a lot of the features that are hidden. They do work, but they're hidden, still not showing up. Well, one of the things here that is uh, showing up is the fact that um, apparently the uh, settings app is soon to get quite a, a lot of new features. And so these are going to be interesting to see, um, including the ability to create virtual drives uh, within the settings app. Uh, there's going to be a change in the way that the title um, information f that is displayed there's going to be quite a few things uh, changed in different options, including the sound. That, of course, comes to the fact that um, we're always talking about the famous control panel and how the control panel is still there for a lot of things. Um, and um, they are slowly trying to move on the control panel to the settings app. But, you know, it takes time. And from time to time, it will actually eventually you know, probably someday get all of it in there. One of the biggest problems with this is that it is confusing to some of the users to have two types of settings, two places where you go to check for the different options that you might want. And, you know, sometimes one actually sends you to the other uh, settings uh, app, and the settings app might actually ch send you to the control panel, uh, which, you know, it, it's, it, it works, but it's not the best way to do things. So as we see that slowly, we're going to get this year some new uh, system, uh, some new settings uh, in the settings app. Hopefully, um, from time to time, we'll see some of the options of the control panel disappear and reappear over here. Um, you know, they they are doing, a, I think, a good job in the settings app. And I, I do like the settings app much better than the control panel. But it's time that Microsoft really gets serious in moving this uh, to the, the settings and, and re retire the control panel uh, altogether at some point. Um, it will be, I think, um, you know, important to basically have a feel and a look of a modern system and not always, you know, go and rely on something old that looks like Windows 98, you know. Um, so these are probably going to come through the different... Um, moments, uh, and uh, we're going to talk about moments actually in a separate video. We have a little more details of the moments, uh, especially because we're soon to have the f moment number two that should be um, either this month, it's supposed to be this month or next month. So we're in the the time where uh, the time frame where moment two is soon to arrive, um, even though Microsoft doesn't really say much about it. Uh, we also see that Moment 3 is about to arrive in the beta channel, which means Moment 2 is supposed to be soon to be pushed to us. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.